Hey, this is Jay Gordon from Orgy. You're watching Front Row Live Entertainment. Hey guys, Rob here hanging out at the Roxy and I'm hanging out with Jay of uh, Orgy. How you doing, man? Good, man. Doing good. Just uh, hanging out, getting ready to do uh, some sound checks and stuff like that. It's definitely been a, a minute since uh, Orgy's been around, seven years to be exact, right? So what's been going on with the, with the hiatus? Uh, just, uh, you know, took a long break from it for a while um, and produced a lot of stuff and, and uh, you know, put a new band together and got out there and, you know, the, it just didn't work out schedule-wise with the, the, the former band members and stuff and um, I just needed to do this again. So to not let the brand die, I just uh, put a band together. Uh, got a new single that we're kind of having this little shindig for tonight and uh, we're going to play that tonight and we're working on a couple of VPs that should uh, come out the first part of next year okay. so. and, uh, um, doing the, the new members did, did that kind of worry you um, thinking like hey okay I'm going to start the band all over again pretty much and new members are going to happen like did you think that fans were not going to accept that or how did you feel about that yeah I mean you know some of them still have a hard time with it you know and I, I get it you know like um it's hard to get people to accept change of some some things and music changes and that's just kind of you know you're never going to have that first record of any band yeah. you know again um you know I, I don't think that any band really ever really wants to emulate their first record i mean you know the success of the first record of course you know everybody wants to duplicate that but uh you know things change man you know and, and it and it it's hard to it's hard to get people to see that but you know shit happens so that's true and i was i was actually watching some of the live videos from the uh tour earlier this year um and i i, I don't know if it was just those shows in particular but uh did the image change for the live performances as well not not so much i mean i mean you know yeah I don't, i'm not wearing like white jumpsuits and stuff like that but i mean it's like you know how many times can you see the guy you see a guy wearing that same thing you yeah. know so it's like you know it, it changed a little bit but uh as far as that goes, um, you know, everybody's image changes over over time. So um, I think the faces change more than the images change, you know. So, you know, that's that's pretty much that. But, um, you know, things are good. You know, um, I think people are going to get used to this new band and, uh, you know, they're going to end up liking it a lot. So, okay. Uh, right now you're currently, you know, promoting uh, the first single, which is Grime of the Century. Correct. Tell us a little bit about that single. It's just about, um, you know, you know, being around LA for so long, um, you just kind of get used to how, I mean, people would do some like pretty dirty stuff around here. So, uh, you know, it's a play on the uh, crime, crime of the century, pulling off like some crazy crime. It's just kind of like, you know, the stuff that people pull in LA. So it's just kind of like, you know, it's dirty, you know, so it's kind of dirty, grimy, but, uh, you know, it's about that kind of stuff. Okay. And listening to the song, um, I, I kind of sense your vocals were a little higher as, as far as the pitch goes. Uh, and then before, like your vocals seemed a lot uh, deeper. So is that what we're going to be hearing on the, on the new music or was that um, just for that single? I think in between, you know, where I'm at on Grime of the Century and stuff like you mean because it's in a higher pitch. Yeah. I, I don't think people are really used to hearing me do that. But um, it's just uh, kind of where I was uh, at the on the moment, you know, at that song. I think uh, um there'll be a little bit more of that coming up, but uh, it's not anything, you know, that was planned. It was just kind of, I just yeah. decided to go a little, you know, I, I, I come up with these ideas, like, you know, in the studio, usually spur of the moment and just like start ro rolling with it. So, you know, I try to uh, just stick with whatever I'm doing for that minute. So I like to change it up. Okay, so there'll be a lot of different things going on with this new sure. new music. For sure, for sure. Okay. I think I think that you know the EDM influence has always been there from the first record on, and uh, that'll continue to be what Orgy's always uh, you know been about, and yeah. uh, it'll it'll continue to be you know uh, definitely a big influence with, with whatever's going on uh, EDM wise. So. I think if anything, you guys were kind of like the first ones to do that kind of stuff musically. Yeah, it was like, you know, I've always, you know, that's kind of what the name's about is being able to fuse all the styles. So whether dubstep's the hot ticket or electro or fidget house or, you know, trap step, dumbstep, whatever, yeah. it's all kind of part of uh, going to be part of what we do, you know you know until until we're not making records anymore so. <laughs> and speaking of edm you you actually worked with with skrillex on a song uh sure. what song was that and how was it working with skrillex um actually there's no it's not titled yet um although i just you know did a bunch of vocal work on it again uh we've changed it like a bunch of different ways and i'm working with uh schoolboy and this guy future who's actually djing tonight that was the guy who just walked in here a minute ago okay. he's uh, uh on the track and him and i do a lot of work together i think uh it's going to be like more of a fusion of a bunch of those cats and and then 
Uh, we're gonna see what we can do with Orgy and see how that works out. I mean, because the song's taking a couple of different yeah. turns, so <laughs> it's really cool. It's just like you know, we just want to make sure it's right, you know. Okay, and then you were mentioning an EP coming uh, soon. A couple, yeah. Like I, I think rather than put out one full length, I think that uh, we're gonna keep shaping some ideas that we're working on now, working uh, working through a few more new songs as well, and uh, I think there'll be two different EPs. Okay, and then, uh, like I said earlier, earlier this year, you guys went on a tour. Was this the first tour since, since uh, what, 05? Uh, yeah, actually, um, it went really well. I, we just wanted to get our feet wet, get in there, start playing songs. Uh, we, you know, we just played a bunch of the old orgy music, and uh, now, tonight, we're introducing a new song, and we're going to continue to, you know, build from there. What song will you guys be introducing today? Uh, we're going to be playing Grime of the Century. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then um, what else is going on uh, as far as Orgy goes with, with uh, tours? Any more tours coming up? Yeah, um, we're doing a, like a 15-date tour uh, starting in December. And then after that, we're going to take a break, you know, for the holidays and get back out there first part of next year um, and do full-blown tours, you know, all over. Will we still see Orgy doing tours with like Corn or, or Limp Bizkit or, or those cats that you, you know, toured with before? Yeah, I don't know. Anything's possible. I mean, it depends on what their, you know, their schedules are like, you know, obviously um, they're out like kind of doing stuff and, and uh, you know, yeah, I'd love to. Um, it depends on, um, you know, whatever tour is weird it's like you know it, you know depends on what everybody's doing at the time when a tour gets you know like a family values kind of thing or yeah. something yeah like it depends you know if they do a family values yeah for sure like i mean i would try to like drop some stuff to do that you know so we'll see yeah i would love to do that again though okay great. cool because that was uh 98 that you guys did it right yeah yeah it was cool um yeah i'd love to do another family values or something so uh get it together now going back to the the current single, it's available uh, for download on iTunes, and you guys are also doing a, an actual CD um, yeah. online. Yeah, um, you mean as far as the the as, new stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Those will be uh, those will be coming out real soon. I mean, they'll be done by the end of the year. That I you know really want to focus on finishing those up. You know, uh, November and. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to take December off and then try to get those out first part of next year. So, but I mean, for the single right now, you uh, fans can order. What was it? A special oh, yeah. edition uh, hard copy? Yeah, absolutely, it's available. Uh, I wish I had one here with me, but yeah, it's uh, there's a hard copy available. So as far as the single goes, and there will be hard copies of the EP is available as well. Well, thanks for hanging out, dude. Be sure to catch up on on Orgy and their upcoming tours and upcoming music. Subscribe to Front Row Live, and we'll see you guys soon.